uh, I am Pushraj Pant, came back again on a new topic. This time I came with my case study, yes. Saving money is losing money, yes. So based on that topic, watch it, this case study with the help of graphics. Saving money is losing money. So stay tuned with Kiri to my channel to get some exciting topic furthermore. Thank you so much. Yeah, that body's the best thing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. No, 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 no. She messed with the temperature. Hello friends, by looking this title, everyone is started thinking more about it. Because from childhood or parents or society used to tell save the money. It's correct. But no one will tell us after saving what to do with the money. This is the reason many of us will remain as a middle class and the whole life will struggle with finance. So I'll explain you with the help of matrix how people in our society save their money. Let's consider a hundred people in our society whose saving is 10 lakh rupees each. Let's consider the first 60% people who will buy from their saving home, car, etc. of 12 lakh rupees. I will explain you how does they do. 7 lakh rupees they will take a home and 3 lakh rupees down payment for the car of 5 lakh rupees it means still 2 lakh rupees loan is there on their head which they will pay for the further their future salary this will be an extra monthly expense because from this home and car they will not get a single returns rather every month expenses and the 2 lakh rupees which they are going to pay for the first further salary in the next list 20 percent people will do same what the 60 percent but they will not take a single loan they thinks whatever in our pocket is there that that thing only we will buy it but the mistake these people also are doing from there also they will not get a single return in the next 10 percent people who thinks they are so much intelligent that they can save money in terms of cash by doing this is better than this previous two people but by keeping money in cash it is not good enough now you might be heard about a uh, inflation it means anything we buy for thousand rupees last year in the current year you will not buy the same material in thousand rupees so to buy the same material we need to pay around 1040 rupees because our India inflation rate is around 4%. So if you are save if you save thousand rupees and you are happy, then in the next year your thousand rupees value will reduce by 4% and your saving will go into negative. So saving in money in cash is not good for advice. In the next five five percent people they think they are so smart they will invest their money in banks as EFT. So by current rating, if you will consider by reduction of the taxes, they will get around 7% returns. By reducing the 4% of inflation, they will gain only 3% 3 per, 3 gain. So the remaining 5 people out of 4 people are more talented. They, they invest their money in real estate, properties, commodities, stock markets etc and 15 to 20 percent returns per year they will get it so by reducing the four percent of inflation they will gain around 16 percent per year so you have 16 percent gain for these four people so at last out of 100 people only one person will be there who invest his money some business and take it up his business up to high and around 50 to 60 percent return each year you get that's why then that's why middle class will be more and rich is very less so I encourage to all people and advice to start business from your sale or if you love your job so much so please don't stay with job income save money and learn how to invest 
एंड इन रियल स्टेट एंड स्टॉक मार्केट थैंक यू सो मच